Hey guys, what's going on? It is I going aka Death the Kid. Um, you guys are seeing this right here, the stack of Pokemon cards. It was actually uh, given to me by my friend Shane Beeson, who traded me a like these right here for a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I needed to help him with to get trade. But I'm actually wanting to show these guys. I mean, this deck off with you guys. He just gave me a random cards by all means. I actually skimmed through a couple of them. Saw some that were pretty good. Thought I would share them with you guys. So let me show you guys here. Of course we got a normal skitty by all means. Now by all means these aren't going to be in the best condition by all means guys because he doesn't have sleeves or anything so just FYI. Another skitty. A Delcaddy which but our looks pretty good, I'll give it that. A Flabable, which, like I said, guys, he doesn't have any sleeves or like other stuff, so he won't be, these won't be in the greatest condition. So, FYI, to anybody who's saying these aren't in the goodest. A uh, Floetta, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Flagorgeous, which I actually just battled one of these in my Pokemon Y today. <laughs> Go figure. A Lotad, which looks like he's just chilling near the stream. Go ahead here. Um, Roltz, which looks like it's got a little bit of red aura around it. That looks kind of good, but it also could be bad at the same time. A uh, Curly Elbow looks like it uh, has a little bit of a jewelry problem. Ooh, Gullivore. Nice. He's pretty good. Uh, you guys could tell. Um, did I say that's a holographic one? I don't know the rarity on this one, so I may have to look that up here in a minute. Um, never was good with pronouncing this one, so I'm going to try the best. Spirizzy? By all means, you guys, this may be a long video because it's kind of almost like a deck full, so FYI. Acrobike, if I pronounce that. Don't know. Oops, we got, uh, well, I guess two of the same one, but Tyrone. I mean, tarot, or whatever you want to call them. So I just skipped those two because they're the same. Pokeball. Potion. Lucky Helmet. Another ac Acro Bike. Of course. Random Receiver, which I heard that it's just a support card to get, like, supports. So, yeah. Like, it says right there to get support cards. So, yeah. Another potion, a spiel, which one of my friends was just trying to trade me a spiel on my Y, which I only have like a couple Pokemon on there, so I kind of declined it. No offense, Amanda, aka Kari, I uh, really don't need a spiel right now. But thank you anyways, I give you that. Corona, or if I think I pronounced that correctly, I do not know with her name, uh, it's kind of hard to say. But, you know, the fighting gym leader in X and Y, so yeah. Heavy Ball, which looks pretty good, I guess. I mean, it could be worse. Skyla, we should all know this one from Pokemon White 1 and 2 of Black. I mean, po yeah, Pokemon White 1 and 2 and Pokemon Black 1 and 2. Alright. Um, Snorlax, which I actually... If you guys know which title I'm talking about, you encounter Snorlax for the second time in a X and Y where it's in that forest looking area, so yeah. But I'm actually trying to think, do I have to beat the game to actually try to capture Snorlax again or what? I have never thought about that, so yeah. It's been a while for me guys. Snurrent, if I pronounce it correctly. Another Pokeball. Mm. I just realized the background looks like it's almost in flames. Cool. A psychic energy. Another psychic energy. Max Elixir. Acrobike. I. Okay. Oh, Vespa Quinn. Um, almost full art. Not bad, I guess. But. What's that one say? Double. The. Ooh, not bad. So basically, I can attach two. Pokemon tools up to it, so not bad. 
pretty good. Marsh Stomp. Haven't seen this guy in a long time. Like card form guys, not like in the game wise. Team Flare Grunt. Didn't even know there was a uh, actually a card of these guys. I never knew that. So yeah. Oaks Visit. Hmm. Must be from uh, Diamond of Pearl. I'm guessing because of the Sardis in the back. I don't know. But it is a support card. So yeah. Um, Pokeball. Again. But, like I said, guys, he wasn't really getting into Pokemon again, so he just traded me these. So, there may be a lot of supports, or there might not be a lot of Pokemon. Um, I'm just going through the uh, deck he gave me, so yeah. Crushing Hammer, which I've said it before with a different kind of hammer card. Looks like almost similar to Amy Rose's from Sonic the Hedgehog. Heavy Wall, which different art on that one. Uh, switch, which is a pretty good card. Um, you get to select one Pokemon on your active, from your active, and switch it to a with a bench Pokemon. So, like say for example, I've done this before. My one of my Pokemon is about to die on the active. I will just hopefully have a switch in my hand, play it, and then switch back, try to heal up the one that was on the bench. So yeah. Different kind of uh, art for Crushing Hammer. Not bad. Pokeball, which still looks like it's on fire. Another switch. Not bad. Another switch. The Evolution Spray, which this is pretty good. I get to select a one of my Evolution Pokemon that is on the field. I can de-evolve it. So basically like know how you evolve I can just take it back to the one it was before so yeah but you can't actually evolve the Pokemon the same turn that I activated that um switch again uh, Magikarp which looks like a frenzy of them Feebass surprise attack if it's tails the attack does nothing uh, it's only a 10 damage okay ooh my Lutic I know Jeremy, aka Silver August of the Silver League, will be happy I have this now. <laughs> uh, fan of theirs. Great people over there. Gyarados, that Berserk Splash. Wow. May only be 80, but it does 10 more damage for each bench Pokemon that we both have. Holy crap. That could count up to a lot. Oh my. Let alone that Aqua Tail. Let me read this. Flip a coin for each um, water energy I have attached to this Gyarados. It will do 30 more damage for each heads. And let alone that's only 90 where that was 80. Whew. Oh man. Another Magikarp, which I don't get why he has two Magikarps in here. A Frogadier. Ooh, nice. I think I have a Froakie somewhere around here. And now prepare yourself for the shades, guys, because I can tell the last card after this is going to be the one is the final it off. But I have actually seen it, but I cannot believe he did this. Mewtwo EX. But like I said, it's not in the greatest condition because you can tell when I reflect it, let alone I get a little closer to the border a bit. But yeah, look at that. That is like so hard to pull nowadays. Uh, wish I had pulled it myself to be honest, but wow. That is basically all the cards he gave me there. But as you can tell, I need to do a little cleaning back here. Trust me, it's hard for me to uh, keep this table clean. But thank you guys for uh, watching with me. Showing you the cards and everything. Um, please like the video if you can. It is greatly appreciated. Um, like I've said before, I may be doing a pack opening maybe sometime next week. I'm not 100% because I'm supposed to be getting my Nintendo Wii maybe next week as well. Because next week is the beginning of next month. Thursday I get paid, but Wednesday is the beginning of the month. So... I'm actually, when I'm done recording this, I'm going to check to see if the 
game I want is still at my local GameStop because the one I wanted to get is in the next town over and it's not here in my local town and I will, of course you guys probably already know this but I don't drive I really want to though one of these days but the problem is is I'm kind of nervous to do it because it would be my first time let alone I have never taken the courses or anything for it when I was in high school but that's another video for another time. I am going to stop, check to see if that game's still out there via the website. Anywho guys, have a good day and I will see you guys possibly Thursday or maybe even Wednesday because like I said, I'm going to try to do a little box opening with my Nintendo Wii. See you guys later.